Hey there, friends, and welcome to another quick Kajabi tutorial. My name is Rebecca Austin with Strive for Savvy, and today we are going into part two of this five part series on search engine optimization and getting your site found from a marketing perspective. Now, if you missed part one, I'll put a link up here for you so that you can easily and quickly go back to that one, because in the first one, we talk about specifically on page SEO, where we want to make sure that we have everything set up inside your Kajabi to optimize your search engine optimization. Today, I'm going to talk to you about your sitemap. Now, what is a sitemap and why is it important? Well, your sitemap is how your, um, your site then is indexed with Google to be able to have it more easily found. And it, it's not always a necessary step, but if you're brand new, like you have a, a really new site, it makes it a lot easier for Google to find you and start indexing your content so that they can start sending people your way. Um, another reason why a sitemap is super, super handy is if you don't have a lot of other backlinks already Already established it again it really helps with establishing and getting some traffic generation and um, establishing the your site um, for search engines and then of course the third one which is less common in this case but if you have like lots and lots and lots of pages you have a really really extensive blog and um, you need to have more of a site map to be able to help the search engines to more easily navigate and index your site so those are the main reasons why you would want to have an in the, the site map. It's not a super, super required thing. I have found in my experience, though, that it's better safe than sorry. And there's other things along with having your site set up on Google's search console that just makes it super handy because you're going to get some reports that helps you to know whether or not there's some pages that are broken or if there's some things that are not working from Google's perspective. And those are super, super helpful data to know what's going on with your site. So it's not really as complex as it sounds. It's just a matter of going through a few steps that I'm gonna walk you through here. And it's super simple. You just have to basically set it up with Google Search Console. You do have to have, however, a, a Google account. So if you don't already have a Gmail, um, a account set up, then I recommend that you start there because you do have to at least have a, a Google account, although you're going to want that anyway if you haven't already done that, not only for your sitemap, but also for other things with Google. For example, if you ever want to do Google ads um, or YouTube, which of course, you know, who doesn't want to at least um, have a YouTube account, if not promote your business through YouTube, it's definitely a worthwhile um, thing to have set up. So do that first. If you don't know how to do that, um, definitely look around there's lots of resources to be able to help you on setting up your your google account but i'm going to jump you in to show you how to set up your site map with google so that you can really boost and make sure that everything is set up so that your site can more easily be found so let's jump on in now the first thing that we need to do is to go to google and tell them a little bit more about your site. So we wouldn't want to basically set up your site on uh, Google search index. So the way we do that is we go to search.google.com and I am doing this on an incognito window since I've already done this on my account and I'm doing this now as a demonstration setting it up for one of my clients. Um, so basically you're going to go to search.google.com. You'll see a screen something like this and we're going to click start now. And then we need to sign into your Google. So now that we have been logged in on our Google account, and I kind of skipped that step just simply for security purposes, um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go by domain. So this is where you enter in the domain and continue. And the next thing they're gonna do is they want to check for verification. So they um it's going to prompt that you actually own this domain or that you have access to this domain so we have to verify ownership um, there's a couple ways that you can do this and um, the the easiest way to do it is to copy the txt record for their dns configurations so i'm simply going to copy this 
and then we're going to log into wherever you have your DNS records. Now, theoretically, if you've set up your custom domain through Cloudflare, you would go into Cloudflare to do this. If you have set it up in a different format, um, then you would go into your domain hosting or wherever your DNS, DNS records for your site are located. So in this case, for this particular um, client, we have it in uh, Go, uh, GoDaddy, excuse me. So we're just simply going to click add. We're going to add a txt. And as long as you've recorded that over, then it'll show you ownership verified. So we're ready to go to go to property. So what we're going to do then once you are logged into your Google Search Console is you'll notice on our menu here to the side is sitemaps. So we click there and we have the opportunity to add a new sitemap. So all we have to do at this point is we're going to enter the URL, which in this case is HTTPS. And this is where you put your domain in here. But then we want to add forward slash site map and make sure I've got this right sitemap dot xml and what this is doing is it's just pulling in then the pages for your sitemap so then you'll get a message that the sitemap was submitted successfully and um, what do Google does then is it's just periodically going to look for any changes um, or it'll let you know if there's any um, uh, errors or things that are popping up from, from Google's perspective. Uh, so now we have our status as success. So our sitemap has been added to the Google Search Console. This does take about 48 hours for it to completely populate and start giving you data. Um, but once that you have data, you can go into your overview. It's gonna show you performance, it'll show coverage. Um, we can go in, you know, we can look at different things here um, and make sure that we have the right pages um, are being indexed and what those look like. So that in a nutshell is the basics of setting up your Kajabi um, site through the Google console so that we can make sure that the sitemap is um, established and that we can get everything indexed the way it's supposed to be to help you in your organic traffic and having people um, find you through those organic searches. Now, of course, there's other strategies that go along with supporting that. So we will be talking about that in other sections that are coming up. Um, so again, if you missed part one, be sure to go check it out and stay tuned for the, the, the remaining parts of the series. Next time we are going to talk about in part three about how to optimize your site for things like page speed to make sure that um, you're, you're doing everything possible to make sure that it's, it's ranking really well. So stay tuned. If you are new to my site and you're serious about growing your online business, I do invite you to like my, um, my channel and subscribe to my channel. That way then you can be notified of any new videos as they come out, including the other videos in this series. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the comment section below and I do welcome your feedback or any other questions that you'd like me to record a video about. So that way um, I can make sure that I'm, I'm helping you and supporting you in your business. So we'll see you on the next video in part three, where we'll talk about your, your site optimization.